Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in today's video, we will learn how to send Google Sheets data using API by Pabli. So now let's say that I have a small business and I'm managing the data of my customers in Google Sheets. So now with this data, I wish to create them as a subscriber in MailerLite. As there is no native integration between Google Sheets and MailerLite, for that I will be using a feature by Pabli Connect that is API by Pabli. This will help me to build a connection between Google Sheets and MailerLite. So to perform this integration, we will be using Pabli Connect where our trigger application will be Google Sheets and our action will be API by Pabli. So to learn how we set up this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn that how you can send Google Sheets data using API by Pabli. Now let's say that I manage the data of my customers in this Google Sheet and now with this data, I wish to create these customers as subscribers in MailerLite. So to build a connection between them, I will be using an amazing feature by Pabli Connect that is API by Pabli. So to set up this automation, let us sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will sign in. This is the all applications page by Pabli. So we will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach our dashboard. So now this is the dashboard and to create a new workflow, I need to click on this create workflow button. I have named it as send Google Sheets data using API by Pabli and now I will click on create. So now as I did that, I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the those two principles of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So basically action is the response of your trigger application. So now moving to the trigger window. As the title suggests, that is to send Google Sheets data using API by Pabli. So now over here, in my choose application, I will be searching for Google Sheets and here it is. And as my trigger event, I will be selecting new or updated spreadsheet row. That means this trigger will start working whenever a new spreadsheet row will be added or updated. So I'm selecting it. After selecting my trigger application and the trigger event, now you can see a webhook is given and along with that, a help desk is given. So read this carefully because the webhook URL will help you to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So now I will take you to my Google Sheets. So this is the sheet that I have created before. So now I want to connect this spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. So I will simply go to extensions and now I will go to Pabli Connect webhooks. But if you don't have this webhook extension, you can simply go to get add-ons. And here in the search bar, you can search for Pabli Connect webhooks and you will find it. So you can see it that I have already installed it. So I will just simply close this window and over here again, I will go back to extensions and take you to Pabli Connect webhooks. So now we need to set up an initial setup. I will click on that. So now in this initial setup box over here, you can see that the selected sheet is sheet one because in our spreadsheet, there is only one sheet. Moving on to webhook URL, we will find this webhook URL in Pabli Connect. So we will just simply copy it and we will be pasting it over here under webhook URL. As I did that, moving to trigger column. So basically trigger column is the final data column in your, so over here in my spreadsheet, D is the final data column. So I am mentioning it as the trigger column. So that means the data will be captured till D column. And now I'm clicking on submit. So you can see that the setup is configured successfully. I will close this and just refresh this page once. So now I will again go to extensions and go to Pabli Connect webhooks and I will click on the send on event option. So now whenever the data will be added in a new row, so the data will be captured by Pabli Connect as well. So now over here, I will fill in the dummy details. I have filled in the dummy details. The first name goes by test, last name goes by user and a dummy email that goes as user test .com, along with a dummy phone number. So now I will take you back to Pabli Connect to show you the captured response. And over here, you can see that the response is successfully captured in Pabli Connect. You can see that the trigger column, which we have mentioned was D, it is successfully captured over here. You can see the spreadsheet name along with the spreadsheet ID and the sheet name. So over here, you can see the details that were filled in the column. You can see the last name as user, the first name as test, along with the email that was user test at the .com. So this means the first step of our automation is successfully done. So now whenever a new row will be added over here in the spreadsheet, then automatically 
this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So now moving forward, I want to create this customer as a subscriber in my MailerLite account. For that, I will click on this add action button and over here, I will be using API by Pabli. So API by Pabli is an amazing feature which helps you to connect two applications. So over here, we have selected the action application and moving to the action event that will be post. So from this action event drop down, I will be selecting the action event as post because I want to post the data in MailerLite. So now moving on to endpoint URL where we will find this. For that, we need to go to developers MailerLite website. And now over here, we will go to create an absurd subscriber. And now you can see that over here, this is the endpoint URL given to us. So we will go back and paste it over here. And as you can see that if you want to create or update a subscriber, then you have to send this post request. So we have selected the same as in our action event as well. So as we have copied the endpoint URL, moving to the payload type that will remain the same as JSON and wrap request in array. So, so as of now in this workflow, I will select it as no because I don't require it. So now moving on to authentication over here in the drop down, you can see that there are three types of authentication given to us. So for this also, we will once again go to developers MailerLite website and over here we will go to getting started. And now you can see that the authorization is bearer token. The authorization is bearer. So that means over here, we will be using bearer token as the authentication. And now over here, we need to enter the bearer token. For that, we will go to our MailerLite account. And in integrations, over here, we need to develop it. So we will click on this generate new token. Now we need to give our token a name and I'm giving it as latest. And I have named it as latest token. And now I will click on these terms of use and I will click on create token. So the token is generated and now I will simply copy it, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. So as I've successfully pasted the bearer token, now moving on to add headers and set parameters. So now moving on to add headers and set parameters. For that, we will again go to developers MailerLite website to see what are these. We will go to subscribers and again, we will go to create absurd subscriber and over here you can see the request. That is over here you can see the parameters. So the parameters consist of email, fields, groups, status, subscribed, IP address, opted in, opted IP, unsubscribed. So now in Pabli Connect, we will be mentioning some parameters. So I want to mention email as one of the parameter. I will simply copy this and I will go back to Pabli Connect and click on set parameters. And over here in label, I will be pasting the same. And now in the value, I will map the email address from the response received here. I have mapped it. So now why I've used mapping over here because the details you will map in this field, these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. That means this field of email will be replaced with the new email whenever there will be new data added in the Google spreadsheet. So now over here, I want to add one more parameter for that. I will click on this plus button. And now I want to add the new parameter as status. So I will just copy this and make sure that the status can be set only as active, unsubscribed, unconfirmed, bounced or junk. So I will simply go over here and in label, I will paste status and the value I will be pasting it as active. So I will simply just copy it, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. So I've done that. Now I need to click on save and send test request to see whether this customer is generated as a subscriber in my MailerLite account or not. So I will click on this and now in the response received, you can see that we have received the data ID, we have received the data email and the data status is active along with some other details. So now I will take you to my MailerLite account over here. We will go to subscribers. And now you can see that the subscriber by the name of user test at the redpablitudes.com is successfully created in MailerLite. Here you can see the email and you can see the activity that the status is changed to active. So that means this integration between these two applications that was Google Sheets and MailerLite is successfully done with the help of API by Pabli Connect. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.